Helga Tomorowski from Kyoto TV presenting Coffee House Sessions. I'm joined today by a star on the rise, the lovely TV Hawk this Friday afternoon here in the Griffin. Let's dive in. I'm Joggy Hawk, lovely to have you. Thank you. Um, how did you find your coffee house tour so far? Um, yeah, it's been it's been really, really good. It's been quite hectic and um, I know next week is is, is more hectic. Um, but you know, like we all get on so well. Um, it's it's just like hanging out with, with mates and then you get to do your job which is singing, which is my favourite thing. So oh, it seems like heaps of fun. Yeah, no, and the, you know, it's just great connecting with people because I mean the internet's a great thing, but there's so much online. It's like, are you going to sift through everything to find me? Probably not. So, I mean, probably not. This is a really good way of connecting. Yeah, yeah. And, like, yeah. actually showing people what the songs are all about instead of, no, you know, blasting their faces off with some, like, hardcore electro pop. It's kind of like, this is the root of the song. This is what it's all about. So, no, it's been, it's been amazing, and we've really enjoyed it. So Perfect. This is how Do you have a lot of songs that you wrote yourself? You're yes. A writer? Yeah, yeah. And I was wondering which of that creative process do you find the most enjoyable from writing to recording to putting on live performance to, to oh. finding that melody? I mean, they're all really, really different. But I think my favorite, mm, yeah, no, I think my favorite bit is when I'm actually singing it and it's like, okay, so the hours that we've put into this, because like pays off. behind a song yeah. is hours and hours of work, like writing, recording, but then also you go back and you're like, ah, oh, that word's not right, let's change it, let's do it again. Of course. And then it goes off to like, like technical magicians who make it sound like amazing, which is great. And then you finally, after all that time, and it can take months as well to get a song from like start to finish. Yeah, a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
particularly say that influenced you along the journey of being oh. who you are today on the on Well, stage? yeah. I mean, um, my mum is like into rock music, and it's oh, nice. and she doesn't look like she is either. So it's kind of weird. You've got like <laughs> you're driving to school and you've got Guns and Roses coming out the windows. You see like your teachers <laughs> going, oh. Okay, <laughs> but no, I love that. So, so that's always been a quite a big part of, of my childhood. When I still love rock music, and I like, I really like kind of modern rock as well now. But there's so much coming out, which is great. It's kind of having a resurgence. I mean, it's not something I'd, I'd done before, and I was admittedly a little bit kind of hesitant about it because obviously, like, when you write something or you create something, you're quite like motherly about it. Like, this is my baby, stay away from my baby. <laughs> but they were like, no, just let it go. Fine, let it go, fly. Anyways, so I wrote the top line, and uh, then it just kind of went out to quite a few people and some kind of miracle just landed like miraculously landed in, in Mike's in, inbox and I got this email back I didn't even know that it had landed in his inbox so I got this email back with a demo track that he'd kind of done around it and I was like it's not bad <laughs> actually actually this guy so you know we, we talked a lot and we kind of went backwards and forwards on it and um, but the original vibe that he had remained all the way through like cool. which was amazing it was kind of got exactly the right energy that I was kind of that I was thinking of writing Obviously, the next week is uh, we're carrying on with the tour. I think we're going to like 18 universities, so it's been it's going to be our wild ride. I'm going to take a day off after. That. I can barely attend one. Yeah, <laughs> nice. But you do enjoy it. Oh yeah, no, but I I, yeah. I I I um I get bored. Like I get bored really oh, yeah. quickly. Like you have a lot of energy. A weekend, yeah, a weekend, even a weekend. I will sit in. You know, I have a lion. I don't see that much. So if I have a lion, it's quite unusual. I'm like lion. I kind of wake up. I'm like I've wasted the day. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? I failed as a human being. So I get I get quite like restless. But then next year next year I've got a new song. No way. Can you tell us a little bit about it? It's um I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's a strong uh, kind of opinionated song 
Um, I'm very much um, a feminist and it very much comes through in that. Don't stop I'm you. everywhere, you can't escape me. <laughs> no, my, my music's on Spotify, uh, Apple Music, iTunes, Amazon, I think Probably. Tidal as well. Um, and then Instagram and Twitter are my main platforms, and Facebook Amazing. as well. So, so it's quite easy. Stalk me, I love it. I will do. <laughs> uh, it's lovely having you here, Thank and you. I will wish you the best in your career, and hope to see you soon. I'd love that. Thank Perfect. you very much. Thank you.